Hey everyone! Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we have a very special video about how to make a best version of homemade yogurt. And I'm going to share with you all the very important tips from the ancient people that they used to do this and I'm sure you didn't know before. So if you do the way that I tell you and you use the tips I'm going to share with you, you are going to have the best yogurt. So let's see how to make a best version of the homemade yogurt. So let's make a homemade yogurt and I'm going to tell you all the tips that you should definitely know if you want to make a homemade yogurt. The first tip on making a homemade yogurt is that if you know a trusted farmer that you can get a fresh unpasteurized milk, then use that to make a best quality and the most delicious yogurt. But if you do not have that option, go for an organic fresh full fat milk from your supermarket under the high flame pour the milk into the big pot and let it boil in this between you should stir your milk once in a while oftenly in order to let the air mix with the milk until it comes to the boil the second important tip is that you should never use any metal spoon in order to make a homemade yogurt especially the time when you want to mix the culture with your milk. So make sure to use a wooden spoon in order to make your yogurt at all the stages. Once the milk start boiling, let it boil for another 10 minutes but bring the flame down. Stir your milk at this stage more oftenly but you don't need to do it continuously. After 10 minutes, remove the milk from the flames. Place a warm and clean blanket on a flat surface and put a container that you want to make the yogurt in it over the blanket. The third important tip is that at this stage you should never move the container. Remember, when you want to mix the culture with your milk, after that you should never move the container until it is completely cooled down. So make sure the place that you're choosing to put your container, you're never going to move the container. Pour the milk inside the container and leave it for about 20 to 25 minutes so the milk will cool down. After 25 minutes, you are going to check the heat of the milk. This stage is very important and tricky because if you are mixing your culture too early or too late, you are not going to get a nice yogurt. So you should check the heat of the milk with the method that I'm going to tell you. The best method to know if the milk is ready to be mixed with the culture is that put your finger inside the milk and keep it for 8 seconds. At the end of the 8 seconds, your finger should start feeling the burning sensation. If you feel that way, then your milk is ready to be mixed with the culture. The next important tip is that remember, your kacha, which is your yogurt, has to be under room temperature. You should not just remove the yogurt from your fridge and mix it directly with your milk. You have to bring the yogurt temperature to the room temperature first. Once the yogurt is at the room temperature, beat it so it will be smooth. The next important tip is that do not pour the yogurt directly inside your milk. Instead, pour some of your milk inside the yogurt, beat it so it will be smooth, and then pour all of that inside the whole milk. Another tip is that once you pour your kacha inside your milk, do not overbeat it. Once or two stairs are enough. Now it is time to cover the yogurt. Place a clean towel over the yogurt. Put the lid also over the towel and carefully wrap the blanket all over the yogurt and leave the yogurt at the same place for four and a half hours in a warm room. After four and a half hours, unwrap the blanket 
and remove the lid and the towel and leave the yogurt uncovered at the same place at the same room temperature for another half an hour. After half an hour, transfer the yogurt to your fridge uncovered and let it there for 24 hours. After 24 hours, the yogurt is ready to be consumed and you can enjoy the thick and very delicious homemade yogurt. Did you see how it was easy? So let me know what you think. Comment below this video and if you really like this video, please like it and share. Subscribe to my channel for all the great tips and good recipes.